Hello everyone and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well today. Um, I guess the clue is probably in the title, but we're talking about cars. All things cars, my favorite pieces. I feel like they are one of the brands on High Street that are on top form at the minute. I just feel like they're getting everything right. And I could have just put the whole of the Cos website within this video. So every now and again, I do one of these roundup videos um, where I don't go and buy all of the pieces, um, but I just show you what's new on their website to hopefully help you make informed decisions when you're shopping if you're shopping for the new season and if you're not shopping for the new season then hopefully this will just inspire you to bring some of the pieces out in your wardrobe i'm going to talk about styling options as well with all of the pieces so hopefully there's something for everyone in here whether you're shopping or not what i would say though if you are thinking about injecting a few new pieces into your wardrobe and are feeling a bit overwhelmed um, then there's a few key questions to ask yourself when you're shopping for new pieces. So obviously within these videos, I'm trying to cater for everyone. I have a large audience from all over the world, so many different places, countries. So um, these pieces are catered for everyone, but not suited for everyone. So a couple of questions to ask yourself are these. So the first is kind of, do I have this piece already or something very similar to this piece and if you don't then are you missing something like this from your wardrobe another big question to ask is will this suit my lifestyle obviously there's so many pieces out there that we love but will this piece be right for your work your day-to-day -day life um, the weekend things that you do so lifestyle i think is a really good question to ask yourself another great question is will this color suit me um, not every color is for everyone so make sure you think about that when you're buying another is is this my style or is it the style that I really am aiming towards and envisioning um, or is it just something that you think is nice does it actually suit your personal style and then another one is can I rewear this piece um, a lot will I get a lot of wear out of this and will it be useful within my wardrobe and also that kind of leads me on to do I already have outfits and pieces that this will go with or do I need to buy a whole new wardrobe for this one piece because if you do then I don't think it's really gonna work so I think if you kind of check that list before you actually buy something then that will be really helpful so I've just narrowed down my favorites and then you can narrow that down even further to the pieces you love so the first piece are these belted wool wrap trousers you may have seen my asymmetric trousers that I got from COS in the summer this is basically the winter version it comes in burgundy and black which is perfect um, and again, it's got this lovely asymmetric cross detail. This is perfect if you're looking for something elevated to add to your wardrobe, but still very wearable, because at the end of the day, they're just like a wide leg trouser. If you're somebody who always wears t-shirts, plain shirts, plain knitwear, these are really cool way to update your outfit. So on the trouser train, I have these pleated trousers. Um, these are like a barrel style, which I love. I've shared a lot of these pieces on my Instagram as well. So they just kind of keep cropping up for me as my favorite pieces. But I think these pleated ones will be so, so useful. So many ways you can wear these. I actually bought the gray ones from last year and Honestly, I got so many questions about the trousers and they sold out so quickly that I feel like the black will just be such a useful piece and I know so many of you will like this style. This pleated barrel style is also extremely comfortable and just makes all your outfits, again, a little bit like the last pair, just feel a little bit more modern and up to date without feeling like you're really going down the trend route. So if you're looking for something a bit bolder, I love this scarf detail top. I mentioned in my trends video, if you've not seen that, it's a couple of videos ago, but my trends video talked about neck detail, which I'm loving. I'm actually wearing this top also from COS, which has kind of the neck detail. You can wear it straight or you can wear it like this. I think this color is sold out, but they do still have it in red. It's got the beautiful ruched detail too, so I'll link that. But anyway, this top, the scarf detail, I think is gorgeous. It ticks that red trend box, but also very wearable, I think too. Um, this is such a nice one in the evening. Um, I mentioned this before, but I think we neglect those pieces that are evening appropriate, going out for meals, going out for dinner, that aren't too dressy. 
um, but just have a bit of something extra, especially like a long sleeve. So you don't need to take a jacket with you and, and think about that as an extra thing. So I think this neckline detail is so pretty. And as I said, it was in my trends video, this kind of neckline detail too. I also mentioned this on my Instagram um, a couple of times, but this boxy wool jacket, I think will be so useful. The brown one in particular has a nod to the suede trend. I think with it being brown, it almost is giving that suede look without the maintenance of suede. Um, so I think this is a really nice option. I love the boxy style, collared, cropped or shorter jackets, again, are gonna be a really big trend, but also like they're not really a trend because it's just a very wearable, simple jacket. But I just think this would be so, so useful in anyone's wardrobe. Wide leg trousers and jeans are huge at the minute and I think that is why um, these boxy jackets have really come into their own. So I think if you're a little bit fed up of a trench coat and just want something a little bit different, this car coat is actually really cool um, and you can wear some nice lighter colors underneath and I just think it makes a really nice look. It also wouldn't be as precious as, a, as a, like a beige trench coat just because of the color. Um, I love the simple, relaxed shape and style. This to me feels a little bit countryfied, but I think you could wear this in the city. Really nice, casual, all around a coat. Again, I do think these are the pieces we neglect. We maybe have like a smart coat or jacket and then something like to go and walk the dog in. And then we never have that really nice piece for in between, just nice, casual day to day. So I think this coat would be so useful for that. So I really wanted this video to have a bit of everything from easy casual wearable pieces to things that feel elevated with a twist that are still wearable. Um, so I've just gone for these straight leg jeans as the next piece. I think these are just a really nice pair of straight denim. We're obviously seeing a lot of looser leg wide legs but sometimes it's really useful especially when it comes to like boot weather and ankle boots and even like long boots to have a nice pair of straight legs in your wardrobe. So I think these are a really nice colour. They're like a kind of nice light to mid wash and I think they look a really good fit as well. Cos have a really nice selection of belts so I've gone for this classic black belt with silver buckle. This is actually something I'm missing in my wardrobe. I went through a phase of only having gold buckle belts, but I feel like I'm so into silver now, but I've not matched my belt game to my jewelry game. So I need a couple of really simple classic belts with the silver buckle, and I think this will be very, very useful. For a classic leather belt as well, I think it's a really good price. It's 55 pounds. You know you're getting good quality, but also something that will really last and be very, very easy to wear within your wardrobe. This striped boat neck top, I think is such a beautiful fit and shape. It comes in red, but also a darker shade too. So I actually think it's quite a dark navy that it comes in, but either or, again, so useful, perfect for the transitional season. This is one of those wardrobe classics that you can just keep in your wardrobe. I've had a Breton striped t-shirt, the same one for years and years and years, and it's not gone out of style in all of that time. So I think if you get a good one of these and you get it right, you've kind of got it forever then. Um, and I just think this boat neck shape is just like the perfect boat neck. And it's also got the perfect slouch to it as well. So a little while ago, I did a video um, about contemporary classics and looking for elevated pieces, uh, you know, kind of simple pieces with a twist. So that is where this shirt comes in. I could have just linked another plain white shirt. Let's be honest, we absolutely love the classic white shirt, but we probably all have one by now. Um, so actually, how can you take that classic white shirt look and put a cool spin on it? And that is where this funnel neck really comes into its own. I, if I saw somebody in this, this would really catch my eye because it's so classic um, and so wearable. And I feel like so many people would probably skim past this on the website. Uh, but I think if you saw this in real life, somebody wearing it, or if you were wearing it yourself, I think it would just make such a good outfit. You could wear this with jeans, also for workwear with a nice like slim fitting wool pencil skirt, um, with a wide skirt as well, um, but also with like trousers, you can dress this up in the evening if you wanted to. Um, I think this is such a good piece. I actually think I might go and buy this after the video. Capes are going to be another big trend of the season. And I think 
There's something about a cape that feels instantly chic, so elegant um, and so timeless as well, especially a wool classic cape like this. So I think this comes in black and gray. So beautiful, it's modern, but classic. And that's just my favorite kind of look in one. Um, so many ways to wear this. Again, really nice workwear piece, also a dressier piece. If you go out a lot in the evenings, I think this would be a really nice one to wear. Um, it keeps you warm. You can still see a bit of your sleeve underneath, um, which I think is really, really nice for the evening, um, but also like for workwear as well, I think will be really nice. You could actually even keep this on for work if you wanted to, if it's cold in your office. Um, I just think this is a beautiful, beautiful cape. And uh, I feel like if you're looking for that cool coat, this is it. Next is this long line wool blend blazer. This is the asymmetric detail. This again is actually a really big trend, but also something very wearable. I'm seeing these all over the place, but actually um, like a sleeveless waistcoat, I think especially for autumn, is a really, really good buy. I actually have had variations of these throughout the years. I remember when I worked in an office years and years and years ago, I say I was like 21, and I was wearing a sleeveless blazer all the time in black. Uh, this also comes in black, by the way, but it was so useful. I wore it all the time um, because I wanted something where I can show my sleeves. A blazer is a bit hard to style sometimes, but actually the sleeveless blazer I think it's a lot easier. Um, so you can wear like nice pretty blouses underneath, t-shirts, tops, also jumpers. Um, so this comes in two colors, the light color and the dark color. And I think this will just be so useful within your wardrobe. Also really nice to dress down. I could see this with like loose jeans, like chunky loafers to kind of toughen it up a little bit. Next we have the merino top. This is very fine, almost like a sheer, which I think again, really nice for evening. Um, you could kind of layer this if you wanted to as well with like a fine top underneath, a fine vest. I think that's what they've done on the site comes in so many different colors. This will also make a really, really nice layering piece if you did get something like the asymmetric blazer, the sleeveless blazer. Having this very fine merino knit underneath will be so useful. Merino to me is the best fabric. It keeps you warm uh, when it's cold, it keeps you cool when it's warm. Um, so I just love the merino look and this is just a really nice classic version that will make a great layering piece. So speaking of jackets and things with a twist, I love this parachute jacket in this khaki colour. Um, I think again this is something people might scroll past but it would be so useful. Um, it will make such a cool look. Keep your pieces very simple, the rest of the outfit, all your basics. Just adding this jacket on will instantly elevate every single outfit. This outfit as well, you could take from very casual to actually really smart and dressy with some statement earrings. Again, I actually could see this, not necessarily a corporate environment, but a workwear environment with all smart pieces, a low heel, a smart sharp skirt, and then this jacket will make it feel a lot cooler. So I think this is a really good piece and not to be underestimated. This tie neck jersey top, I also mentioned in my trend video in terms of neckline detail. And I again expressed that I think this would be um, really chic, especially in the evening, dressed up. Again, I think it's one of those pieces you could probably underestimate on the website, but this will look so good on. That's what I love about cars is that they just have something about them that I think stands out even in more simple pieces. And that's why you can really bring the piece into your own and your own personal style and transform the way it looks with accessories. And then you've just got this cool, simple, slightly architectural piece on um, with the rest of your outfit. Cars are doing the best bags at the moment. I think they have such a good selection of handbags, um, including this pouch clutch in the burgundy. Big oversized slouchy clutches. Again, big trend, but also not just a trend for this season. I feel like this is a shift in the way we're looking at bags. I actually did a whole reel on this on my Instagram about bags and slouchy bags. Um, and I think a slouchy clutch, especially an oversized one, really plays into this. It just makes every outfit look cooler. If you're gonna buy one piece for the season, um, make sure it's something like this bag, something statement, bold, 
but wearable. Burgundy goes with so much. It looks lovely with things like camels, also cooler tones like greys. It looks good with colour like pink. Uh, so many ways you can wear burgundy with uh, navies and blacks too. I absolutely love this pouch. Um, and I think again, you can wear all of your basics. Imagine just a plain white t-shirt and jeans and then this clutch, such a good look. I'm also really into sweatshirts. I think now is the perfect time to get some sweatshirts, invest in some good sweatshirts. And I love this kind of pinky rosewood, slight burgundy one that cars are doing. It also comes with barrel joggers, but I think this is so cool, easy to wear. I am relying on sweatshirts at the moment in this British weather, but also as we go through the season, I just think sweatshirts are so useful. And I think you can then wear something dressier on the bottom, like a nice skirt and put the sweatshirt on and it looks so much cooler. So I thought this was a really nice twist in terms of color and a slight nod to the trends as well. Quick shout out to the jewelry and this double droplet ring I think is so chic. Um, again, cause accessories, so good. Adding a piece like this, you don't need anything else. All you need is this ring on. Again, keep all your basics really simple. This statement ring will absolutely speak for itself. And another clutch inspired by the Loewe Flamenco definitely um, is this black one. I think this is a beautiful piece. Again, if you're just thinking about getting one piece for the new season, I think these oversized clutches will transform all your outfits. I love as well the look of like a clutch in the daytime, dress down more. Think outside the box, how you can restyle all the pieces you have just by adding in those one or two trend pieces. And I think this clutch will take you so far. And as well, um, if you're kind of not into the burgundy, the black, I think will be really useful. Mary Janes are not going anywhere. Um, they can be a bit controversial, but I honestly love them. I feel like they transform all my outfits, just make them feel a little bit more trend-led. Again, keeping the rest of your outfit really simple, stick to your capsule wardrobe, and a nice uh, Mary Jane will just kind of see you through everything, to be honest. These are beautiful, black leather, simple, so many ways you can wear these. Denim is always on trend, but this dark denim shirt, I think, is so good at the moment. I'm loving that slight nod to kind of Western style with the suede and the dark denim. I think it looks really cool, played down in a very contemporary, simple way. And I think that's what this shirt really does. Onto my last few pieces, these droplet earrings. If you've not got any structured silver, bold jewelry, now is the time to get some. These earrings are great because they're not too oversized, so it means you can wear them very easily in the daytime. Again, all your simple pieces, and then also for the evening as well. And if you're looking for a bit of a twist, something different, again, very wearable, as all of these pieces I think are, um, then I think this denim skirt is a really nice one. I actually think, again, smart casual work environment, you could wear this um, denim skirt, because it's a dark denim, it feels a bit smarter and the shape of it as well gives it a smarter edge. This will look great from now with like ballet flats, even chunky loafers, trainers, and then it will look so good with boots as well going through to the new season. Just feels a little bit different and a little bit fresh. And again, you can be wearing the most simple pieces with this, use this skirt to kind of elevate the whole look. Finally, a quick shout out to this long sleeve t-shirt. A really affordable way to dip your toe into this red trend um, is this long sleeve t-shirt. It will go with so many different things. You can layer this then with something like the boxy black jacket with the collar, some nice dark denim, some of the pleated kind of black um, trousers will look really great with this. Nice belt, keep it simple. Um, even the t-shirt itself is very simple, but because it's in this red, uh, it just kind of ticks that trend box. Um, so a really easy, affordable, um, versatile way to do this trend. Um, I feel like I need some more vocab in my book to say wearable, versatile, um, but that's what these pieces are and that's what I really have focused on for this video. So I hope you've enjoyed all of the pieces. Um, let me know if you're gonna be getting any of them. I always feel like when I do these, um, I encourage myself to go and buy some pieces, but I'm just gonna be focused, stick to the questions that I asked at the beginning of the video to really narrow down anything that I need or I'm missing in my wardrobe. So I hope you do that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.